Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your, that's right, you, your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of March 20th, 2021. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across from me through the internet, Alex. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm very exhausted because I'm in the middle of two very big life events. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll get mm-hmm. back. To, I'll get into that like in the okay. in the weeks okay. coming, because um, I don't know how the internet works. I don't know if people could figure things out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like, okay. I don't know if I want to know specifically where I'm going, but I'm going somewhere new soon, hopefully, mm-hmm. as long as nothing mm-hmm. gets fucked. But yeah, Alex, I'm not. Yes. I don't want to talk about me. I want to talk about you. How are you doing? Man, I am. I am living it. I, as you can see, yeah, I you're a little like clearer. I hear you a little is better. Mm-hmm. Why is Everything's that? Running a little better. I finally got a new computer. Oh, I'm finally not running on a 2010 MacBook Pro. Mm-hmm. Which mm-hmm. yes, people, this that was I, what I was running. I, I would like to think I would. I, uh, this is part of our title to Easy Achievers. We've talked about this a few times, but it's mm-hmm. to to do what you think is to to achieve what you want to do, right? And if you go home and think, how could I do a podcast? How could I do X, Y, Z? We've been doing this for like two years, um, almost all, exclusively powered by a 2010 MacBook. So if, if that 2010 MacBook could do it, damn it, you can do. Hey, you saw hey, the fur, the, that first year, it was two, uh, uh, two mics connected to GarageBand with a splitter, and that's how we recorded. God, we did. I forgot about that. Yeah, remember GarageBand? Barely. It wouldn't, it wouldn't even together. let me download it anymore. It was like your computer's too old. <laughs> I was like, really? GarageBand? I like I like that GarageBand was like, it's over. Like yeah. it's almost like a breakup where you just kind of mutually agree. Um, like you know, mutually. That's what you say to your buddies. Like yeah, we just you know mutually gave up. No, she no. She dumped your ass. Or he. Mm-hmm. But enough Dang. about breakups. <laughs> this is the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. You can come to us every. Single Friday sometimes, where you can get the news that you need to know. What we think you need to know, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, I kind of am that barrier between you and the outside world. Kind of like some sort of messenger. I feel like there's an Attack on Titan reference. I've been watching that soon. I feel like there's some reference I can use for that. Like, the you know, they ban the books, so you don't know much about the outside world. So I can be that liaison between the outside mm. world in the, in into the wall area. Mm. Right? Mm. This is the mm-hmm. wall, and I'm in there. I'm there, I'm like around here. Mm. So the wall, I'm like there. Okay. So I'm inside yeah. messaging, telling you about like water. It's a big mm-hmm. deal in that show, by the way, the sea. That's a big, oh, big thing they, wanna, knows, they want you to know. Nobody knows what the hell that looks no like. No one knows what it is. It's a big deal when people see it. They're like, it's salt water. Uh, it's, it's, how much, uh, can you mine it? It's like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> can you mine it? Stupid. Stupid kids. <laughs> you know, I mean... <laughs> what was he talking about? That's right. Easy Dreamers Game Podcast. Yeah, it... I lost it. You want support us. You can, of course, do it in two ways. You can either do it financially. You can go over to Easy Achievers. No, that's not right. Patreon.com slash Easy Achievers. You can give us a buck there. That's plenty of things you can do there. You can give us a dollar. You can access our Patreon-only web page, our chats, our posts, things like that. You can also DM us personally. You can DM us for a question, comment, concern, thought, and or idea for the show, and we'll read it aloud to everyone. Will we roast you? Depends on how stupid it is, right? Hmm? Maybe it's smart. Make sure it's smart. Maybe we won't no, roast you. Maybe we'll no. roast you because you make us feel inferior in some way, too. Now, that could also that, be a thing. You have to be able to take it. Yeah, that's true. Because <laughs> <laughs> we do we do stupid stuff here, right? Eventually, eventually someone's going to call us on it, right? Yeah. We're going to say something that's going to be wrong, so it's going to call us on it, and we just got to make fun of them for like 10 minutes. Yep. But if you have a qu- again, question, comment, concern, thought, and or idea, only a dollar. That's pennies a day. Yep. That supports us. Now, you might be asking yourself, I don't have that dollar. It's too tight right now. We're in the middle of a pandemic. I need yeah. the extra money. 
for myself, I completely agree. I don't, but I agree. You can go over to youtube.com slash ggachievers. Can't really. So just search ggachievers. I'm just going to keep saying it until eventually we get the URL. But just search ggachievers. Click the first one you see because that's the first thing you see. You go over there. You hit subscribe or you like this video. That's all you have to do. Leave a comment if you want to talk to us. If you're on a podcast service, five-star review. And you can subscribe to our feed. So many ways that you can support us without costing you a dime. It's free. All it costs is a little bit of time. A little bit of time. Thank you for our spiel. And thank you for listening so intently, Oliver. Thank you. Jim. Jim. Yeah, thank you, Jim. Yeah, yeah, I like Jim. Yeah. Susan, nice. thank you, too. Yep. That's all for today. Everyone else, you don't get one. Oliver, Susan, what was the other John? Is that what, is that what he said? Sure. Yeah, John, you're also in it, if that wasn't before. You are also thanked. Thank you so much. Now, enough of that. We're not a podcast with just name and names, all right? We are a video game podcast. Before I get into the news, where just a heads up, not too much. Not too much. It was a kind of a boring week. So we're just going to be chilling this week. Before we get into that, though, I want to ask Alex a question. Alex? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's on the tip of my tongue? a question to ask i think it's what have you been playing boy since this pc i've been playing league i just downloaded wow i had played some valorant okay and now good games you and i sir are we're gonna be playing star wars the old republic yes we are we yes. are i'm very excited for that we played Alex, 2013 mm-hmm. sounds right, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We haven't yeah. played since then. Probably yes. since then. We played a little bit around then. That was a good time. Yeah, we keep, we kept trying to play every once in a while. But yeah, and also we didn't, didn't have, have the a computer to run it. Yeah, we also didn't have the best computers at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I could run it a little bit of it, but it got really hot. It was a laptop, so I mean, you don't want to hold that thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I remember that thing. No, yeah, no, you don't want to hold that thing. It was a nuclear bomb waiting to go off. So we kiboshed it until we had good PCs. I finally got one, you know, mm-hmm. like a year ago. Alex finally got his today, so we're actually going to play together and see if we enjoy the game. We have a level boost to, like, level 60, I want to say. There's, like, some sort of expansion yes. you can do. Very excited about that. Mm-hmm. We're going to try that out. This is more of, like, a going to play. Not really our playing or have been playing, but yeah, we wanted to bring it up. I'm excited. I want to play some Valorant again. I want to try out Overwatch on PC because I heard it's fun. Dude, same. I definitely. But I, want but to I'm, I'm. See, I'm the lame one where I'm like cross progression. Cross. Yeah, cross. I'm see, not. Yeah, like I played, play, I played it on PlayStation and Xbox, and right. both like, like not vigorously, yeah, but like a good bit. And yeah. I'm like, I have things on each one that I want on the opposite. Exactly. And it kills me. Like exactly. just merge them. And whatever's yeah. like what you've always said. Whatever's duplicate, currency. Just give it some currency. That's all you gotta yeah. do. 400 or like 30 percent of the value or something mm-hmm. it's not that hard also we all know we're, we're not going to mess words here we all know blizzard isn't going to do it until overwatch 2 we're just mm-hmm. just get out there we're not getting in oh, yeah. until overwatch 2 so that's super lame they could do it tomorrow if they wanted to they yep. could do it tomorrow they're just not going to it's lame oh, but yeah it's a boop it's a click of button yeah yeah i'm yeah i'm it's we're talking about blizzard they make like stupid amount of money, like mm-hmm. inconceivable. So like, uh, they could do it if they want to, but they're not, they're not going to. Not going to. I mean, they have a BlizzCon. <laughs> yes, they do have BlizzCon. BlizzCon's really cool too. I've never been to one though, but the pictures are cool. No, yeah, it, it looks awesome. Is that all you've been playing, Alex? I, 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 um, more Apex. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think Apex for me, that's about it. Um, um I finished the story for Control. I just finished need to, Control. I need to do the expansion. I, I, I think it's just, we've been just yeah. I've just been chilling. Yeah, we've been, yeah. I've kind of been relaxing, jumping from things. I've been watching some shows. I finished Attack on Titan season three. That was really nice. Mm, so you did finish it. How'd you? What you think? What you mm-hmm. think? Um, there's literally nothing you can say that doesn't spoil the hell out of that show. Like there's um, like that's like a minefield of spoilers. But look, I to liked be, it. To be, to be fair, that show has been out since like 2012. That's true. That's so, true. Like, and season three, I think, came out. 2019 i think yeah 2019 so right so yeah season four is on right now Mm -hmm. it started last year okay okay 
So yeah. if they haven't watched it, I don't think it's spoiler. Like, yeah, if they wanted, yeah. If they I mean, watch I, it, they would have watched it already. Yeah. Well, I'll. How about this? I'll keep the spoilers to the end of the show, and if you guys oh, want to discuss right. with us, you can you can either skip to then or We're do that now. A segment just called spoiler talk at the end of the show. You're just so full of good ideas, Alex. I appreciate you. Yeah. Alex, we're going to do some live editing. If you do me a big oh, favor. Snap. All right, what am I doing? You know the audience loves the time codes. So if you just um, keep the time codes for the news that I'm about to say, it'd be okay. much appreciated. Okay. They're a fan okay. of it. I'll try my best. Yes. Now, so I'm, you hear the clickety clacks. You hear those clickety clacks. First off, I dare you to say anything. Double dog. I I will find you if you not. Look, I love my Razer keyboard that goes click click click. Oh, it's so satisfying. I hear people I don't like, like it because it's so loud. It's so satisfying. Oh, yeah, it's definitely loud. It's like earlier when I was using mm -hmm. it, my wife, I was playing League, and you know you gotta constantly be smashing buttons. Yeah. And I was you in it, and my wife came in here, and she was like, "You good? What, is, what are you doing?" She was, she was like, "You typing?" You're like, "I'm having a seizure." Like, no. <laughs> she, I was like just typing a bunch of stuff, and I was like, "No, it's just I had to keep pressing buttons." And yeah, like, you're getting that. those. I was like, "No." Double kills? Is that what? Is that what oh, you no, mean? Oh no, I was dude. My first Capping? match, I was getting my butt raped. Oh Jesus! Or what have what? Like I just. I are just, you good I, in that game? I'm. Like, I'm are, fine. You, you're fine. I'm fine. Okay. I, I'm not great. I okay. have before. I had moments where like, oh, I was really good, and then there'll be times where I'm just like, no. Nah. You're just getting destroyed. It's because the games change so much, and there's no new like things that you can put on your on the characters that like, right. I don't know what's what, mm -hmm. so I have to like. I have to like go back and actually read and see what it's all about. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna get into the news first up on the docket. I'm gonna do this very quickly because I saw a lot of people talk about it. Um, this is Jade Raymond introduces Haven, a new Montreal-based game development studio working on an original new IP for PlayStation. So to be clear, Jade Raymond. Very popular in game space. She left Google earlier this year after Google just like kind of just quit making video games. So they just mm -hmm. kind of stopped and she left. She's made Haven. And that's all we know. It's super weird. Everyone was super excited about it. I don't know Jade Raymond too well, if I'm being completely honest. I just know that she uh, was a big producer on a lot of games. And I know that she is popular, obviously, in the game scene. Um, we don't know anything about the IP. We, I think she's literally in midst of hiring. So, like, whatever this is, we're not seeing it for a long time. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to bring it up because it was, like, very popular. Um, Alex, do you have anything to add to that? Um, not really. I mean, I'm Same excited here. to yeah. check out a new IP. I mean, yeah. it's always cool to get new ideas out there. So, because mm -hmm. you never know, it could be that, that could be your title. That's true, yeah. Yeah, she could be making your favorite so game, like, which is Yeah, which so is like, cool. you know, Haven's, I mean, Halo, excuse me, Haven Studios could mm -hmm. make a, you know, a game that's like awesome, and you're like, that is my game. Mm -hmm. That's true. They could be like, making your next favorite game. That's cool. Like, I knew, uh, I met somebody um, maybe two, three months after Days Gone came out, and, like, they love that game. Days Gone? Yeah, like, they played, like, they did everything and they, they like like i need like you know the pe how people get crazy with like fallout or skyrim mm -hmm. and like that's their one game they yeah. play and they this was this gone. one dude's game he would play with day was days gone okay and i'm like i'm like yeah he is he was like yeah i never knew what sony benz was and when like when i tried out days gone that was my game and i was like mm -hmm. nice mm -hmm. alex why were there mm -hmm. so many flashbacks in that game big flashback game that one was no i don't a lot of river it. a lot of river scenes too they're yeah, a fan yeah. of rivers well, I mean, to be fair, they are, where was that? Oklahoma? No, was it Oklahoma? No. Where is, where, Colorado? I can't remember where. Yeah, Sony Colorado Benz's. sounds right. Okay, so I gotta figure know. it out. Yeah, look that up. Sony Benz. Look at this. It's not Soy Benz. Sony Benz is where. Salsa Benz is what we want. Sony Benz location. Okay, that gave me nothing. Good, perfect. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> now cool. we saw the new controllers for VR for mm -hmm. PS5. These things look <sighs> like balls with handles inside of them. I'm trying to to enunciate to like a to like the audience that's not necessarily watching the YouTube video. Think, okay, think I'm of it. The you know the Oculus or the Vive like controllers. You know the big round things. It's like that. Yeah. I can agree with that, yeah. It is it is like that. Now, I'm going to try 
very quickly do this so yeah, the audience can see. There we go. So this is what they look like. If you're watching the YouTube video, I very quickly just threw it up there. Um, what do you think, Alex? We can just talk about this real quick. I'm I mean, I will go ahead and give some features. Okay. Um, Cause you, now you said now uh, actually go ahead I'll let you I'll let you read that first. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this is just straight up from their PlayStation blog. I just want to leave um, directly in there. I, I'm just going to pull a quote. Uh, a quote: Our new VR controller speaks to our mission of achieving much deeper sense of presence, stronger feeling, and immersion in VR. It will build upon innovation we introduced with the Dual Sense, which changes how the games quote feel end quote on PS5 by unlocking a new way to tap into the sense of touch. Now we're bringing innovation to the VR game. Okay. Interesting. Um, so they, they speak quickly on the design. I want to bring this up. Um, the first thing you'll notice is obviously the unique design is what they bring up, which takes an orb shape that allows you to hold controller naturally while playing with a high degree of freedom. There are no constraints on how you're moving your hands, providing developers with the ability to create unique gameplay experiences. We also designed a new controller with great ergonomics, well-balanced, yada, yada, yada. Um, they said it's very iconic, of course, because these look very similar to most VR. I, I would say. I wonder if there's anything because there's no there's no camera requirement now. Correct. Yes. Um, so I'm wondering in that orb thing that goes around your hand, if there's any type of motion. Yeah. That it knows. I wonder. So here's some features. We have the adaptive triggers. If you've ever touched a dual sense, you know what that means. It it for lack of sounding redundant it, it's adapting to whatever the, it is using so for instance if it's a gun you will maybe feel like a tighten of a trigger near the uh end of where you're about to pull the trigger or a bow will mm -hmm. make it tighter near the end and stuff like that um haptic feedback is a fancy way of saying it vibrates if i'm being honest mm -hmm. finger touch detection the good Controller can detect your fingers without pressing in the areas where you place your thumb, index, or middle fingers. This enables you to make more natural gestures with your hands during gameplay. Tracking. The VR controller is tracked by the new VR headset through a tracking ring across the bottom of the controller. Um, and then they call it the action buttons and analog stick. The left controller contains one analog stick, triangle, square, a grip button, L1, um, and one trigger, L2. Uh, and the create button. The right controller contains one analog, the cross circle, a grip button, R1, trigger button, R2, and options. The quote grip button, end quote, can be used to pick up an in-game object as um, an example. And that's it. That's all we got. So what do you think, Alex? Just from seeing this, like you, I know you read it probably the same day I did. What, what were your first thoughts when you saw it? I, for one... I like the design. I do I like definitely. The design too. I I like. I love this design. I do not like the move controllers. The reason being, like for example, I'm trying to play a game that it's like for example, like you said, it was a gun. It feels more better. Yeah. Or like actually, when I'm when I'm playing Beat Saber, like mm -hmm. it just it doesn't feel as comfortable in my opinion. Like when I'm trying right. to like move back and forth or do something, it just doesn't feel good. So I'm hoping this will make it feel like a lot better. From my opinion, I think with the move controllers, I believe it's a weight issue. Mm. I think the weight is almost, I don't know. It's hard to explain. It doesn't feel weighted correctly. When I'm swinging the controller, it kind of just feels strange. Whereas in this, I feel like the circles are there almost to give you like a more balanced feel with the controller I'm, I'm curious on like what the actual engineering is around this because it's again so unique and it does look cool i like the design i like the almost like half controller thing they got going there like like i'm pointing specifically to this um this top one uh, achievers if you're watching the youtube video where it almost looks like there's a controller cut in half and like pulled into one like i like that kind yeah, of yeah. look it's given me right there um it's very minimalist i think like you got an analog no, yeah, stick like you got so, two buttons and a not, trigger and i didn't enjoy i like the color of the ball thing but mm -hmm. i didn't enjoy the ball itself yeah the ball was useless yeah mm -hmm. uh, like in, in reality the, and the only reason they used it i believe is because they didn't want to make a whole new controller when they already kind of had these things that mm -hmm. could be used for the vr yes yeah. um but i like them no, I don't have too much else to add. I'm curious on 
<laughs> this this sounds weird, but it looks expensive. Just like just oh, that looks sure. expensive. So I'm, like, I really do feel like this thing is gonna be four or five hundred dollars. I I was against that price when you said it, and now now by looking at that design, mm -hmm. I'm like, you're probably right. Yeah, and it's it's, it's I think I feel like it's strange, but I feel like people can kind of understand what I mean by that. Like like just looking at the picture. Of course, this is this is cleaned up to the uh, nth degree because this is straight from you know mm. the source but i mean that looks pretty like like quality like when i saw the dual sense oh, for yeah. the first time i was like that is a that looks like it's quality that is definitely going to be expensive and, and it was mm -hmm. it was 70 bucks so yeah. i wouldn't be surprised if these are 100 bucks just like the move controllers are by yeah. themselves because if now, you want to buy move controllers that's 100 bucks do you think they'll sell them separate or do you think that you'll have like 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 to get them you would have to buy both or do you think they'll you can buy set them separate i think what they're gonna i think they're gonna do you're gonna have to buy them both like how joy cons were yeah i first. wouldn't be surprised if joy cons and then maybe later on yeah later they get on single. like oh if you need a left or a right yeah but uh, they're definitely gonna make them as a yeah as a they, yeah a bomb i wouldn't be shocked if these things are like that. 120 okay that's what i say I was I, I, I was thinking a hundred, but one twenty is not too far off. No, yeah, I don't I don't think really we're too far off. Um, Which is nuts. Let me get rid of this now. Thank you guys for I'm gonna, taking I'm, a second. I'm gonna say eighty to a hundred bucks. I'm not gonna go past a hundred. Oh bucks. wow, okay. So you so you think hundred is that they're not going over a hundred with those controllers? Yeah, I think they'll be like you know ninety nine. I don't think you, or, Yeah, I don't think you're wrong. I think yeah. it could be a hundred. I just think I could I, see it being one twenty. Yeah, maybe if there's like a designed one special design one or something okay so there was a square enix presents alex i'm going to really quick hit this i don't know if you saw this because i for sure didn't mm. and i was like I, how did i miss this so really quickly i'm gonna bring up the id at xbox thing okay i just saw this randomly like mm -hmm. just today I, th I think so i don't know when this was announced i couldn't find the original source of the information the little time i had because it was a quick mm. prep right before we started but we have an okay. uh indie at xbox showcase comes out friday march 26 9 a.m pacific 12 p.m eastern right of course your equivalent in your time zone and it's hosted exclusively on twitch xbox is promising over a hundred games in total which seems like way too many, <laughs> um, including um, a bunch from Devel Devolver Digital, Drinkbox, Curve Digital, and more. And that was just really quick. I just want to add that. I hmm. don't. Yeah, we don't. It doesn't seem like we know too too much. Again, this was grabbed very last minute, but that's what I can find. For. And you said when is this? March twenty sixth, nine a.m. Pacific, twelve p.m. Eastern. All right, another Kingdom Hearts. Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. And more Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> When I think indie, I think Square Enix. <laughs> All right, let's. I mean, get, let's get to the Square Enix presents thing. Um, this is in no way in order of that show. Again, I prepped this after that show. I was actually busy when it came on, so I wasn't able to watch it. I had to do like a brief, just checked out the trailers, and then I pieced together this um, very quickly. So I'm just gonna start off with what I found first. So first thing we had was a uh, Life is Strange remastered collection. A bundle of Life is Strange 1 and Life is Strange Before the Storm. Um, strange that Life is Strange 2 isn't involved, but I think they wanted a specific Chloe um, and uh, uh, Max bundle. So this is what mm -hmm. you can think of that. Um, it has enhanced visuals and animation. It arrives fall 2021. Right? We've played those, but I'm excited. It seems cool. Um, what was actually like surprising, not surprising, we knew it was coming, but what was surprising that was cool, Life is Strange True Colors was announced for PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PC, and Stadia with September 10th Crazy. release date. It will be the first game in the series not to be released episodically. So it's going to be oh. one launch. It is True Great. Colors, and Good. that's the game. Good. I like, love I, will, I, I, always enjoy, I always I enjoyed the episodic thing at first, mm -hmm. but then Me they too. got bad with it when they were like, all right, every three months we're going to put out. I'm like, oh, three, Life is Strange 2 was months. bad about that. Now, I was like, come on. I don't mind episodic if you have the plan. I always bring up not the same thing, but Spider-Man with his mm -hmm. DLC. They kind of had like an episode act situation, and they had a yeah. plan as soon as the game launched, this is your DLC. comes out... If I'm uh, this off the top of my head, I want to say it was October, November, December. This is when you're getting all. That's when they came out, and then they're done. 
like if they had something like that where True Colors, hey, you get it this month and then a month later and then a month later and then a month later, like I'm done for that. But that rarely happens, so I'm glad they were just doing a full game. And it looked cool. Did you watch the? Did you get a chance to watch trailer, Alex? Yes, for True Colors, yes, yes. I did, and, and like I'm excited, and I even told my wife about it, and she's like, "Yeah, that sounds, she, it sounds uh, like for people who watched it, um, mm-hmm. uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but she just seems more like of, uh, of an empath, if that makes sense." Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Uh, I'll tell you what the trailer is. I guess you can pause, go watch it if you want real quick. But I, she, so I'll just say like the character has the power of emotions, mm-hmm. and I'll just you can watch the trailer if you want a little more, but. Yeah. They can. She, it seems like she can use her powers to control emotions and then influence how they react. But it looks like if she does it too often, she has some sort of negative reaction. I'm curious negative if that's gonna. Her, and I know certain. Like if she, if there's a certain emotion that's too strong, yeah, it can affect her the same way. Yeah. So I'm curious if that's going like, to play a gameplay mechanic that if you use it too often. Mm-hmm. You will maybe get penalized, or if mm-hmm. you like a paragon, yeah, or if there's like a difficulty with how strong the emotion is, like gotcha. if someone's very angry with you, can you try and calm them down? But it's gonna be mm-hmm. like difficult to. Is there gonna be like a way you cannot even encounter that if you just don't mess with their emotions, or am I reading way too into this and it's just gonna be story based like most of the time? Oh, Probably I mean, the last we'll one. I just a said. lot of those. <laughs> I mean, usually Life is Strange can get really in depth and That's tricky, true. so yeah. we'll see. I'm excited. September 10th again it releases on everything. Jesus, uh, except Switch. Mm-hmm. Shockingly. Oh, I'm sure Switch can't run that thing. It tried to really? Apex and... Life is Strange. I mean, there's not much going on in Life is Strange. I wouldn't. I'm, I I'm surprised guess. it's not launching. I guess. <laughs> Project Athia was revealed and re- announced as Forspoken. Weird name. Um, it's currently planned for release in 2022. Um, and that was kind of it. They showed a little bit of like, I wouldn't say concept cool. but like a little trailer. Yeah, it looks very quick, very fast. Like it looks like a, almost a pathless. If you know what pathless is, it looks a lot like pathless, mm-hmm. but more mm, humanoid, I guess I, I could use as a word, uh, as a character. Uh, not too much was shown. They what? said there's there's going to be another Square Enix presents in the summertime, so we'll probably see it again. Now it it just looked super cool because the the part where it showed like there was a dr- uh, like a dragon, it looked like it was kind of like in modern time. Maybe it's just I don't know. I don't know. Not modern time, but like it just looked like modern time. I meant like as in for example, let's say like Last of Us. You know how the like it's or like this century, but the 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 buildings are like in ruins and type of yeah, thing. Yeah, right. I don't know why, but like when they showed the dragon and she was hiding in that building, it, that building looked like it was more modern than mm-hmm. what it was. So I'm wondering what times, like what setting is this? Because mm-hmm. when they showed the her running around and stuff and like spinning through the air, it was like she was like you know like, kind of like in the desert. I'm like, where is this? And I'm like, this is super cool looking. Yeah, it does look cool. I love the aesthetic, and I love the mm-hmm. kind of gameplay. It looks unique, so can't wait to try it out. Um, moving on to... So they showed up some Avengers stuff. So they gave you like kind of a roadmap thing here. So I'm going to start at the beginning and go at the end, and then they have like an additional feature at the bottom here. So March, of course, this month, they are bringing out Operation Hawkeye with Feature Imperfect. Um, which brings the, of course, Hawkeye is playable, and then you get to play an entire uh, new operation, which is basically their DLC or expansion, whatever you want to call that. Mm-hmm. Um, you also get the free upgrade to next gen. Yeah. Sidebar, really quick before we get into anything else. Oh, yes, please explain. Me this. and Alex play please. primarily on Xbox. For any new achievers out there, maybe you're, you're on mm-hmm. recent, you don't know that. Mm-hmm. We got PlayStation because we got PlayStation codes from something. Um, yeah, we got PlayStation codes from somebody. Yeah. Now, <sighs> Xbox has a thing called smart delivery. Mm. And people made fun of that when it was announced, because it, 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 for good reason, it sounds silly. But I could have, on my Xbox, boot up Avengers for Xbox Series S and X and play the game. Yep. On PlayStation, I have to... One, update PS4 version on the same day that the PS5 version comes out. So 
already, I have to now make sure I have enough space for the PS4 Avengers and the PS5 Avengers. Mm -hmm. Or do it um, separately, but take way more time. Mm -hmm. Then, I have to get on PS4 version. I have to do what's called a save migration. So I click save migration, puts my save in whatever God, God knows where. Done. Okay. Now you go to the PS5 version, go over, save migrate. As long as you haven't messed anything up, as long as there's no, your updates were correct, you should be fine. It's pretty much the same way you did with uh, Marvel's Marvel Spider-Man. Spider yes. So mm -hmm. you had to have PS4 ready, which thank I already knew it. Me and Alex already knew. We finished each other's sentences. We are not deleting PS4 Avengers because yes. I knew they were gonna oh, do we, something like we this. Called it. I was like, I was like, oh, you you text me. You're like, hey, Marvel uh, PS5 is up. I was like, okay, yeah. cool. It was like uh, I started downloading it, um, and I was like, hey, I got enough memory, so I'm gonna not delete PS4 one. And she, he was like, and we were like, are they gonna do that again? And we were like, yeah, that's gonna happen. <laughs> and they did mm -hmm. so ju just it, it's i hate that it's just not easy well why isn't it easy i don't i don't know but oh well um, hopefully playstation for... figures out their save thing they're still in a weird spot yeah. with their saves luckily now everything auto uploads to the cloud that's a that's a plus with ps5 i've noticed that mm -hmm. regardless you could turn it off if you want to i don't know why but you could turn it off if you wanted to but it yeah, does automatically downs... upload now the downside, if you do not own Marvel Avengers on PS4 version to get the free PS5 version, you do have to pay for the PS5 version full price of fifty nine ninety nine. Right. Um, Don't do that. PS4 now, version is usually cheaper. Don't ever do that. Well, now, I um, I looked on my Xbox, okay. and Square Enix was having a publisher or some type of sale yeah, on Xbox, but not on PlayStation. Okay. So uh, if right. you own an Xbox, you can get the new Series X version of Avengers for, for 30, 30 bucks. bucks. Now, yeah. this is a weird thing, because on PlayStation, that is two it's, SKUs. Yep, two different, different SKUs. SKUs. So make sure if you go to buy this... <laughs> make sure it's the right one. Make sure it's the right one you want, or yeah. know that if you... Arts on it. Yeah, and we'll know that if you're buying the PS4 version, you have to then get the free upgrade as well. Upgrade, yeah, through that. Yeah. So just make sure you do that. Don't like boot up the PS4 version. Then you have to, you know, you realize you're not playing For the PS5. God's sake, you have a save on PS4. Do not delete that. Don't. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Be careful with these saves. Jesus. Because I almost deleted it. I was like literally on the like. Would you like to delete? And it was like yes or no. I was like no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. I was no, this no. <laughs> to download seventy gigs again. Yeah. Yeah. Almost. I was. I was there too. Um. Just not thinking because I needed to clear up some, mm -hmm. some yeah, space. Yeah. Same. And then I went. I just deleted and I was like, wait, no, no, I haven't done it yet. Let me, I gotta wait. And mm -hmm. thank God I waited. Back to this roadmap, because that was, they gotta, fi they gotta, fi Sony has to figure that out. They have to. I don't, why, why are there even two SKUs on, why isn't it just no, what, that I want the PS5? Or, it's, so, <laughs> sometime in spring, you're getting the Tachyon Anonymous. Sounds weird, Tachyon. right? So what that is 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 a, I don't know if it's an event or a um, new update, but you can play as any combination of heroes. Now you might be asking yourself, can't you do that already? No, you can't. So you cannot play as Hulk if someone else is playing as Hulk. So they are fixing that as soon as they possibly can that's so, interesting yeah like it's weird just be all iron man's or all hulks that is that yeah yeah i'm glad they're finally doing it like who that cares it's crazy everybody's just getting hulk smashed the whole time so that's cool though because there's enough hulks almost in the in the outfit uh, outfits to oh, yeah. all be almost different almost they yeah. need the red one yeah um and then i think she hulk was like leaked she should they need to hurry to be fair too. red hulk is not bruce so um... It's the general. I hate so, that yeah. so much because he knows I know that. That's why, because 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 that that's what really pisses me off. He knows I know that, so he's just re he's doing that just to piss me off. <laughs> Next, red room takeover. Um, it is a themed harm room, and there's gonna be new hero outfits. Hard to get excited for that. I don't know what that means. Cosmic Cube. There's a new scientist supreme villain sector. 
Confront the unchecked power of the cosmic cube. Is this what it sounds like when I explain destiny to people? No. Like, I know what these words are, but what is a scientist supreme villain sector? I have no idea. Is that just a a, a map? A a dungeon? A raid? What is that? Wait. The character that's being shown on the cosmic cube. Who is that? That is the main villain supporting character in the story that was helping out. um, Got it. Yeah. Got Got it. Um, Wasteland Patrol. New War Zone mission type patrol mode. New War, War Zones Zone. and assignments within the Wasteland region. Of course, Wasteland region is the future imperfect mm-hmm. expansion mm-hmm. thing we're getting now. And then the very exciting thing that I am very personally am excited thing. for. They announced War for Wakanda expansion. Again, no date on this. This is just some time. <laughs> some time. Wakanda forever. This is a new hero, of course, Black Panther. New hero mm-hmm. outfits. There's a power level yeah. cap increase. New villains, including Claw. New Claw faction enemies. New story. New Wakanda Jungle biome. Down. And new outpost. Mm-hmm. Ve- Excuse me. Very cool. Yeah, I'm excited. It's just there's a whole new story DLC. I'm like, heck yeah. Yes, I want to go to Wakanda. That sounds so fun. Mm-hmm. Sidebar again here. You might be asking yourself if you're an Avengers fan. Don't think many people are listening to that, but you might be asking yourself, Spider-Man was not announced in that. Wasn't that a big deal? They announced Spider-Man, he was going to be in the game. Technically, he was going to be in the game at some point in the spring. He's nowhere on this list. Weird, right? Well, he is not coming out until Black Panther. So we're not seeing him for another year, probably. We're we're not getting him this year. Dude, let's, let's... Let's grab you Spider-Man. Let's you grab Spider-Man in our heads, and then you're just gonna push him back to the back of your mind. You're getting him anytime soon. You, you know, you know what they're doing? They're gonna wait for Spider-Man to put in here until Spider-Man, Marvel Spider-Man Two comes out, and they're gonna do that the same year. They'll be like, "Oh, since you just played Marvel Spider-Man Two, is Spider-Man that this 2, December though, right? What my, Marvel Spider-Man Two? That he's yeah. that's not coming out this year. Oh, oh, Mar- sorry, my bad. I thought you meant the movie. No, no, um, no, 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 no. Uh, no, the game. Far from home, or whatever it's called. Oh, yeah, no, no, uh, no. no, uh, no home, a, home away. Oh god, I'm dying. What is it? I don't know. Um, uh, additional content no, and features. Wait, sure, Omega level threat missions, multiplayer mega hives, post level fifty progression, and ding ding, outfits inspired by the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's what oh. I want. That's what I want. Mm-hmm. And then ongoing improvements, balance, gear, collective co- comic system, matchmaking. Yep. Yeah, that matchmaking. Mm-hmm. Now, Alex, I would describe mm-hmm. to you as a lapsed Avengers player. You played the campaign and you went, mm-hmm. good day, sir, <laughs> and left. Yes. Does this roadmap get you excited to A, play mm-hmm. right now to be prepped for these things, B, is there, uh, if that is not the fact, if A is incorrect and you will not be coming back, is there a specific event on this timeline that gets you excited for you want to jump in then? C, what are your thoughts on cupcakes? In that order, please. Now, yes, I'm excited for this. Okay. The only ones that I'm really interested in is the Operation Hawkeye, Mm -hmm. uh, the Cosmic Cube, and War for Wakanda. Okay. All right. So, okay. That that almost lines up to what I would peg you as like Yeah, I like I'm, I'm, something I'm big, something soon. Sto- something midway, story. right? Yeah, you want yeah, the story stuff. You, yeah, usually uh, like I just enjoy story. Like okay. everything like that's usually extra like the harm stuff. I didn't really get I didn't do any of those the war zone mission right. types. I didn't care for those. Yeah. So like I just want story. Like I want to know like like what happens. Okay. All right, so you actually answered A, B kind of together there, so I appreciate mm-hmm. that. Now, what's your thoughts on C? <laughs> no. I l- it, hear me out. Okay. I like the I, I like I like the vanilla cupcakes, but I'm mm-hmm. not. I, I'm I not don't think I, I don't like where this is going. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not against the chocolate one either. Okay. Because those are pretty good. But okay. Like, I now the frosting on top of them too much for me okay all right so when you say frosting eat i'd rather eat the cupcake instead of interesting so you want a naked cupcake it it depends on the icing that's on top maybe some light icing yeah light icing because it's sometimes Mm. it's just so sweet i'm like 
I'm done. Now, these kids out there, they're crazy. You you and mm-hmm. I both know that. Those kids have problems. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Inside joke. No one understands that. Now, you ever try these cupcake sandwich things that these kids are doing? They get the mid. They so I'm a, they, just in case you're a foreigner or you don't know what to do. Yeah, so you so you, you got your cupcake, right? Yeah. Little mini cupcake, right? You got the mm-hmm. frosting on top. What they do is they cut that cupcake in half, put that half on top of the cupcake, eat like a sandwich. You a fan of that? Seems like I've something. Done yeah, I've done that. Okay, you a fan of it? You seem excited. It's 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 messy. <laughs> a lot of crumbs. Seems like yes, a lot of crumbs. A lot of crumbs everywhere. everywhere yes. Okay. 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 I've By tried way, it one I'm time. This time code just saying cupcakes. Yes. You, this is why I trust you. Thank you. You you make the executive decision I need to be done. Enough about cupcake. Tomb Raider Definitive Survival Trilogy is officially announced at the Square Enix Presents event. Don't know why I said that. Get all <laughs> get all three of the Crystal Dynamics Tomb Raiders. At <clears throat> you good? Oh, so there's a sale price. Sorry. I got some flemmy flem because of this Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew's good, but it gets the throat kind of like strange okay. feeling. Okay. I'm going to drink too much of it. it. So there's a special sale that makes it 20 bucks. Don't know if that's for all platforms. Again, this was a very last minute. Um, once it comes out, the trilogy is 50 bucks. I'm pretty sure it's 20 bucks everywhere. I assume the sale ends, I don't know, soon. <laughs> <laughs> what are you coming for news or something? I mean, <laughs> thank you, Alex. Here to hang out, man. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Alex, for looking that up. Alex will check that for me. Oh, was I looking that up for you? Were you? I thought you were. It looked like you were in the docs. Look, you, you've already asked me to do time. That's codes. true. I heard, I'm already asking a lot from you. Back it up. Let's back it up. Like every. That's why if I apologize to everybody who's listening when you hear the. They love it. They love it. I know they do. What is that? It's the sound of happiness. That's what it is. And if you yes, don't it like is. it, if you don't like it, you're the weird one. It's the truth and justice in the American way. Okay, I can get with that. Play at Home 2021 update. So if you remember last year, they did like Ratchet and Clank. This year, there's a lot more. 10 free games to download this spring. So if you remember, Play at Home is like their kind of like, hey, don't go outside of pandemic stuff, right? I'm trying to get you excited to... to to have your free time if you're being quarantined or something like that or you're stuck at home um, with work at home. So you can play at home. And there are 10 games that are coming to you for free. Now, this is important to note before I uh, announce these games. These are free. These are not free yes, for are. PS Plus members. This is not free for every... Like, this This is not, no criteria. Giving it to you. you get it. So there is literally... Listen to me. There's mm-hmm. no reason to not download these. Just go download them. Take a second. Yeah. Listen to my know, dates that I'm going to give you. Them. Even if you're not going to. Don't be like my wife. I, I go, I go, I get some, oh, you're going to play that? No, I just want it for later. She's like, well, why? You're not going to I'm like, no. Just, just. Yeah. You never know. You never know. Just, you have, uh, like, you know. Uh, she's not a, a she's not a fan. Sometimes I get on her account place. and I'll secretly redeem mm-hmm. the games on ps plus because she'll only redeem the ones she'll want I'm like mm-hmm. Mm-mm, we're not doing this in this household we maximize savings i'm no, downloading yeah, them sure. i'm i'm adding them to the Alex. don't worry look now, the amount of indie games i've downloaded and you looked at me and you're like you're not playing that i'm like i know <laughs> that's the point download free indie games and psvrs now this starts the 25th this one's awesome yes this is awesome now if you want like some hotness Mm-hmm. Here we come. Horizon Zero Dawn will be free for a limited time starting April 19th. Mark your calendars. Now, it's if the you, complete edition. It is complete. So that means you get the DLC for it. That's the Frozen Wilds. Mark your calendars. Listen. You're listening to this podcast. You've been chilling. We haven't had laughs. You need to take a second. If you haven't played Horizon Zero Dawn, l- literally it's free. No money. There's nothing. You don't need plus. Nothing. Go onto the store download this play it. it is fantastic alex it's his favorite game it's his favorite game because he hasn't played it or beaten it look i've guess i have played it i put like 20 hours into this game yeah but i just i haven't i haven't i haven't i haven't finished it i know that but i'm going to 
You know I go. I know you know I go back to things. This, this I went back is, to this Persona. Is, this is my disapproving face. I, I went back to Persona and I planned them. That's true. We went, went back to Ghost of Tsushima, platinumed it. That's true. So you know you're calling me on a lot of stuff here. Now I just gotta go back to this, and I just gotta plan them. Anyway. Again, really quick. Same thing with that Horizon situation. Ratchet and Clank. Yep. yep That's yep, still yep. free. It's it's go download that. Yeah, literally, I was on my phone and I went on the app, and I was like, "Oh, what's the play at home free right now?" Ratchet and Clank. Bloop. Listen, it. listen to Papa Alex here. He he's wise. Listen to him. Look at that beard. Does that look like a beard of a liar to you? I don't think so. I don't I'm think trying, so. man. I'm trying. I'm trying to be <laughs> honest with it. <laughs> you can claim a, a free game of Ratchet and Clank till March 31st, um, and uh, starting the 25th, you can get. <gasps> Absu, Enter the Gungeon, Ray, Res Infinite, Subnautica, The Witness, Astrobot Rescue Mission, Moss, Thumper, Paper Beast. That is everything for the 25th. You'll be getting all those games for free. Uh, mo most of all those games are amazing, great games. Yeah, I think all of these are at least worth a try. Oh, for sure. Like, just, Moss, you know, turn it on. Astrobot, definitely. Those are so VR games, just sidebar. Are really, really good. I heard Thumper is good, like, yeah. like it's a good yeah. game. I, I Paper definitely want to. I don't know about. I've heard of Paper Beast before. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the context. Mm -hmm. Abzu, Abzu, I've heard is huge. Yeah, like, I love people Abzu love and Abzu. I like, and Subnautica is it was actually pretty fun. I played that on Xbox. Dude, and Subnautica I, uh, is huge. I don't know why. I know a lot of people who play Subnautica. Don't know why. Mm -hmm. Witnessed, popular puzzle game. If you love puzzles, Jesus, this game is... The Witness? Yeah, The Witness is... Yeah. For Jesus. That mm -hmm. is a game with puzzles. And I mean, like, difficult puzzles. And remember, mm -hmm. April 19th. I want you to go on your calendar. Pop Alex. You'll know. You'll know. That's it for Play at Home 2021, ladies and gentlemen. Really quick, I want to go over some Game Pass games that are coming to you yeah. soon. If you have Game Pass, then that means you get these games for free, including your subscription price, of course. Now, they are as followed. March 18th, which have already passed. Empire of Sin, Near Automata for PC, Star Wars Squadrons, and Torchlight 3. And, of course, March 25th, we're getting... Genus Noir, Octopath Traveler, Man. what? Very interesting with this game. Of course, if you remember, this is a Switch game. Hmm, two years ago, I want to say it's been a while. It's been a, it's been out for a while, so you, you can tell that exclusivity is up. Also, an important note: this is a Square Enix produced game. This might be the first game almost ever that they got an RPG before PlayStation. PlayStation is not Ooh, getting this yeah. from what I've seen. This this I have not seen a skew for PlayStation yet, so they, we might be getting say, a Japanese role playing game before PlayStation. That is unheard no. of in the Xbox ecosystem. Well, Phil did say he wanted more Japanese games on on the Xbox, and right? he's delivering clearly. Now this is an Xbox title, correct? Like yes. it's it's Xbox version of this. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. So 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 we so, get achievements? So achievements. Yes, I'm getting yeah, Octopath Traveler right. achievements for sure. Oh bro. oh yes. Yes. Oh yeah. Um, Pillars of Eternity Two Deadfire. I heard that's a really good. Yes, I, I might heard try that's it. Good. Out. Supraland Yakuza Six. There's more Yakuza's, so <laughs> they're going to Game Pass. March thirtieth. They're all there. Narita Boy. Oof, that's that's a strange name. <laughs> but those are all coming to Game Pass. Enjoy. Um, really quick to know, I did not preface. I apologize. Octopath is coming to console PC. Genus Noir console PC. Near I did say PC. Torchlight PC. Deadfire PC. Superland PC. Everything else is both console and cloud and PC. And to note, really quickly, Outriders comes. Oh. Um, to Game Pass, Cloud and Console. Dude. Shocking, we're getting a day one Square Enix title in Outriders. Very cool. Dude. Yeah, um, Elijah and I, we played the demo, and we, we, did? Were, we, we were enjoying ourselves a yeah. little bit. I, I definitely was 
like, eh, this seems fun. It definitely seems like a game I'll play for a little bit and be like, all right, this is enough. I but definitely am going to play it for the story for sure because I do want to know where it's going. Alex, mm -hmm. I have sad news. Oh, Are you yeah. sitting down? Yes. Okay, that's good. That's good. I want you to be sitting down for this. Okay. Gotham Knights mm. will now launch worldwide in 2022. They released this via their Twitter. We are giving the game more time to deliver the best possible experience for players. Thank you to our amazing fans for your tremendous support of Gotham Knights. We look forward to showcasing more of the game in the coming months. Alex, d disappointment isn't even close to the correct word for this. Sadness, mm -hmm. depression even. Um, this was my, if you remember, we did a most anticipated game for 2021. This was my most anticipated game for 2021. No longer is because it's for 2022 now. That makes me sad. Now, of course, blah, blah, blah. I'm happy it's being delayed. Yeah. I'm playing a character right now. I'm glad it's delayed. But yeah. I'm very sad. Alex. No, yeah. It's definitely, it's definitely, um, you know, it sucks. You know, they're not going to be able to bring it out this year because yeah. so many people are in like for example us want to be able to play that mm -hmm. but it's good for them they can they can realize that they're like yeah we know we need some time with it we're gonna take that advantage of that time of course not of like course. other games we're like is it ready no <coughs> cyberpunk sorry i coughed i was trying to say cyberpunk but i coughed Thank um you. yeah cyberpunk is it i think cyberpunk is like the like the shotgun shot to the entire industry like, where hey, now no. now okay, now devs can point to something yeah do yeah. you want to be that they can ask points that be like do you want to be the next side no one wants to be the next cyberpunk no one trust me so now someone they they got some like artillery behind them they're like we're gonna be that if you let us launch and i'm sure publishers will gladly wait to not do oh, it yeah yeah please <laughs> yes please we're begging you <laughs> please do even, not like, launch like that like, like like even halo delayed itself they're like we're gonna fix some stuff oh a year they're like they showed the demo off people got people got upset they didn't look good as it should be craig was all up in the way craig um, was craig was in our way but in our hearts all at the same time real, always in our hearts mm -hmm. um but then we saw those 4k images oh Dude, oh, I'm, hold on. I am so excited for Halo. I gotta look at the screenshots, again. cause it's just like like that. Just seeing after those screenshots, that's probably one of my one of my most anticipated games. No, I definitely agree with that. That I don't know what it was. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can even tell you what it is, but that screenshot, for whatever reason, mm -hmm. it just hit. Just... I was like, whoa. Like, just being like, able to see the difference. Yeah, yeah, like, well, it's... I think it's the difference between showing you something that looks like Halo and then mm -hmm. showing me Halo. Mm -hmm. Like, almost like a cosplayer, where you're like, oh, yeah, that, that looks like someone tried to be Halo. And yeah. then they show you, like, no, this is like Halo now. And like, oh, whoa, this is transformative now. This looks mm -hmm. incredible, and I'm very excited for the game now. Like, that's kind of how that feeling I got. I'm like, yeah, that is Halo. And that gets me so excited. No, yeah, I'm definitely excited. I'm wondering that, um, like they, you know, they listen to people be like, hey, okay, we heard your comments, and that's what we're gonna take it into consideration. Alex, <clears throat> hmm? this is where we kind of relax a little bit. This is near the end of the show. We've had a great show so far. I did love this. This was fun. Thank you for joining me, by the way, Alex. No problem. I want to, here. I want to slow down a little bit, but first, I want to remind the achievers of something. I know you've heard this at the beginning of the show, so I'm going to keep it quick for you. Because I want to get into a spoiler talk with Alex about Attack on Titan Season 3. So, very quickly, if you want to support financially, patreon.com slash achievers. If you want to support us with free stuff, you can, of course, like, comment, subscribe, or share with a friend. Remember, five-star reviews on podcast services helps us out incredibly with algorithms. Thank you so much for taking that time for not only listening to us, but giving us a little bit of your, your service. Now, enough of that. Really quick question, Alex. 
We kind of answered it in the beginning of the show, so I don't think we'll take much long on this. But I'd like to end the show just like I began it, with one <laughs> singular question. What are you going to play? Hmm... Star Wars The Old Republic, my yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, we kind of covered this, so we're not going to take too long on this. But yeah, we want to play Star Wars. I want to show Alex some Valorant, even though I'm not particularly oh, yeah. good myself. I do want to yeah, try and mess I, around, have some fun with it, show him. I tried it a little bit earlier. I suck at it, but I am digging it because I want to be able to unlock... There's literally a specific character that looks like Reaper from Overwatch, and I just want him because this looks he like He is like so Overwatch. much fun. <laughs> I love playing as him. That is um, Omen. Omen, yes. yes. Omen. Omen has I a really strong... Him. So Omen has um, a blind, so you can shoot um, like a blind sphere mm -hmm. through... Yes. I was objects. on the practice range and I was using his stuff and I was like, and I like that he, I think it's, it's is it his alt? He can teleport anywhere on the map. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can just mm -hmm. teleport anywhere. He yeah, can, I was like, that is his, awesome. his smokes are one of the best in the game mm -hmm. where he can just, um, you can just like throw the smoke wherever you want. So you can mm -hmm. like confuse people. I've done it before where I'll go to all the way onto the left side of the map. Mm -hmm. I'll throw a smoke all the way to the right so they'll think I'll be in that corner, and I'll like quickly turn and meet mm -hmm. where they would try to get an angle on me and get them yeah. from that angle. And yeah, like, awesome. there's so many different ways you can play, especially if you're on comms with with other people. You can like kind of mm -hmm. describe what you're doing and how you're playing. There's a bunch of stuff. You can do. It's fun. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, dude, I was getting sniped. Yeah, oh, it's some it's, of these people, dude. Yeah. And it was crazy because I would hit them, and it I, I just I don't feel like it was registering, and I'm like, there's no way. Yeah, oh, it's, me so fast. it's pinpoint. It's pinpoint, and again, you have to kind of think about it because I had to talk to myself into it. Like, I'm playing with people that have been playing PC Dude, games for, for maybe the majority of their life. Yeah. I've been playing PC games for about three months. So, like, <laughs> I'm nowhere near these people. Yeah, for sure. But the practice, of course, helps. Um, and there's ways of increasing, like, practice and stuff like that. So yeah, we, can, yeah. we can get that. Go play right. quick. Yeah, yeah, quick. You playing that with me, right? Jeez, uh, sure. Come on, it's like Doom, I, just online. I played it. I, I'm not. I, I, but not with me. Yeah, I, I did it for like a favor of you to get people, like champions or whatever. And, and it's one of those things where I don't, I didn't dislike it, but mm. I can tell it's not my game. You know, like mm. I, you can tell, like uh, I don't think I'd be good at this. And even if I got kind of good, mm. I feel like I still wouldn't be good. <laughs> uh, okay. So, so I'm whatever about the game. I got you. Um, yeah, Star Wars, Valorant. I want to try to get you back into Avengers, but you definitely don't seem to want to play that. So I'll probably I, reach I out know, to people. I will, I will definitely go back to it to get the trophies. And maybe I'll play a little bit since I'll be on. I just want to play Kate Bishop and I want to play yeah. Hawkeye. You can I'll bounce after this. You I'll can bounce after those. this. That's yeah, all I'll I want to play. I'll do those because it has story, I assume, right? Yes, it does. Yeah, then I'll definitely do that because, like I said, I'm, Kate... the, I'm a story guy. I, I want to I know I want to know what's going on with those. Yeah, Kate Bishop picks up right after the, the end of the game. Got Hawkeye it. is right after Kate Bishop. Okay, yeah, then we'll do that. Thank you, Uncle. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's all. There's nothing... Nothing else I can uh, think of. Apex, Destiny, and blah blah blah. No, yeah. no, no, nothing, nothing new. Nothing. I want to get into spoiler talk. Yes, we do. Attack on Titan season three. Alex, Man. now to describe my history with Attack on Titan, I've only really gotten into it these last mm -hmm. three weeks. I'd say even a, maybe a month, and yeah. I've been watching seasons one through three. I stopped right at yeah. three, finished it. Yeah. First and foremost. It is a great TV show. I think anyone that is in, interested in anime should try it. Mm. If, if you like the first... I say try and get through the first five episodes. These are anime, so remember that it's about 22 minutes long uh, because they have, God, the, for some reason, m the, just minute-long intros and outros. <laughs> Never yeah, will understand it. The had, like, three minutes. Never will understand it. Nah, yeah. But it is a good show. That being said... I think they have some crutches that they need to work out. It seems oh, like the sure. um, Aaron... I, I forget, we're in spoiler talk, so I can just talk. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. spo spoilers, 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 blah, blah, blah. Why is every few episodes Aaron gets captured? Oh, and crazy. I'm glad that they... Crazy. They, they couldn't help themselves in season three. 
Oh, for like sure. they, we almost it almost didn't happen. They almost faked you out. Like, ha, we're joking. He didn't get captured, but they got captured anyways. And I was like, ah, Dude, what is going on? He's a cool crazy, character. Why is this happening? And I understand. And it's crazy because they make every time he gets captured, they make him seem like such, like excuse my French, such a bitch. Yes, yes, but they like, do. But I he's do. supposed to be the founder S- type. Sidebar: right? I don't want anyone to to interject. I know the narrative reason, the writing reason. It's to get him from play play so we get we get um lore. I know that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Get more creative than capturing him. He's been captured guy what four times in this show? <laughs> like it's <laughs> it's enough. It's enough. Yeah. Um just watch but, season four now. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Now, Alex. Hmm? You I brought up to you I was finishing season three. Okay. And I was getting to the point where we were about to reach the basement. Yes. And we were going to be told the secrets of the world. Oh, yep. Right? Mm-hmm. You told me something interesting I want to bring up, and I want this kind of be the conversation for the talk. Yeah, okay. Don't mind. Okay. You said, and I quote, if I, and correct me if I'm wrong, okay. you were both disappointed and excited all at the same time by the reveal that mm-hmm. Aaron's father was from a country that is separate from their own they're in a small island there's an entire country of people that live normal ass lives think think of it as the continent and then where the attack on time takes place is an island yeah yeah Yeah. like almost like madagascar compared to like australia like that's kind of what it looks like Mm -hmm. or Mm -hmm. florida and then cuba yeah i can see that too exactly but but it's it's incredibly small by comparison yeah yeah now, they, I think, expertly and not so expertly in some areas, explain what's going on. Mm-hmm. So, this is very much, and not trying to be political here, not trying to upset anybody. This is not the place for me to discuss this. This sounds like an almost Israel Palestine esque scenario going on between these two mm-hmm. groups of people, where mm-hmm. the people on the island are subjugated and thought of as lesser. Than mm-hmm. the people that of higher bloods that derive from, help me here, Alex. Who who derive? Who is what? Why do they think they're special? Because the people on the that they think are lesser are descendants of Ymir, which is the first mm-hmm. Titan. Is that correct? It, it's uh yeah, it, you, I, I believe so. Uh, Ymir was the founding the, Titan. That I that believe. she made a deal with the devil or demon or whatever that was a titan in that you know little picture of her with yeah, the like because yeah, the, yeah, it's very much war. supposed to be adam and eve very quickly it's adam and eve almost mm-hmm. except it's just the girl and she's making a deal with like the devil escaped character to get mm-hmm. like titan abilities and then there were founder titans there's mm-hmm. nine of them nine yes um, and then there is the Great Titan War and I was like oh god yeah so we got I, I love the kind of religious like they took pick like they took kind of like things from a bunch of different cultures and kind of put them together in this kind of unique history that these two people have almost like you can almost see it in like sunni and shiite muslims too like Mm -hmm. again not trying to make anything awkward for anyone but that is kind of how it is it's these two Mm -hmm. people that look and i I like they kind of did that they look exactly the same no, they it, look exactly it, the same, but very little things that they're like, oh, you're a lesser because of oh, this. Yeah. this yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, yeah they're called uh, El, El, Eldians. Eldians <laughs> are the good ones or the bad ones? They're the ones that are on the island. They're like the, the, they're, so Eldians yeah, they're, are Ymir's descendants. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. ones, the, the, yeah, the Titan people. Yeah. Um, now, and then I couldn't. Un- I forget what the other people are called. Uh, it starts with an with an M? M. Okay, yeah, yeah. We're, we both said that. Yeah, so yeah. Mm, isn't it's, it? I think isn't it called the country too? Is is the country's name right? M- Marlian. Marlian. Marlians. Yep. Marlians. Nailed it. Now, um, he, uh, Emir, the character, the right. girl that was yes. with, that was always in the in the military with them. Yeah. I don't know if I got it right but i th- was she the original emir 
I doubt it. I, I think because I, she was, she doesn't remember. She said that she's been underground for 80, 80 years. Remember when when her her Titan was un, was buried underground and yeah. then she and then she got up and then that's when she ate the the, the guy. Yeah, the guy. <laughs> yeah, but fucking ate that dude. Bro. I feel like she was the original Emir. And, that's, uh, and she's the one who made the deal, and that's why she has that Titans, the that because remember when they showed the Devil Titan thing, it looked almost exactly the same. And then that's who, who that's who I feel like that's who the that that Jaw Titan thing is, that because uh, he, he uh, the guy ate a mirror, and that's where that Jaw Titan motherfucker came through. Hmm. You're definitely you're definitely more in touch with the lore here, so I, I'm definitely not gonna pretend like I know more Dude, than you. I, I like when I was watching and trying to pay attention to everything. I'm like, oh, bro, uh... they they are like, they're they're like crack knuckles. They're like, all right, you wanted to know the lore, huh? <laughs> like, and, and they and they like take a book out and they have a speed read and they go, <gasps> and then like, like they hit the page like, and, it, and they just hearts, go. It's just like I can never get for lore, bro. They just go. And I was like, this could have been like three episodes. <laughs> and they made <laughs> one episode explaining almost everything. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what is happening? That's why I could never figure out like half the time. I was like, where is Emir? Is she alive? And then I couldn't remember I don't if think they she's said alive. It. No, no, I think they said that she winded up getting she got in she got eaten by Cause, cause someone. She was the founder Titan. And that's how cause cause the royalty didn't the royalty eat the themselves so that the, the power could keep going down yeah they could keep going yeah, yeah so i'm assuming that 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 ymir had to be eaten so people could keep being founder titan mm -hmm. now you have to get to season four and they'll explain a little bit more okay okay yeah. i understand like i'm probably wrong about some of this because i'm excited so, for when we get ex we get more explanation in season four now, because I think they did explain it in season three, and if not, then I mean it's not a spoiler. So you, um, it's fine. The the power for the titans that that gets eaten. Okay. It's it's timed. It's you can't just hold on to it forever. Yeah, it's thirteen years. They tell you. Yes. And, and the like, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. It's thirteen. You can't years. you can't be stronger than Ymir, so everyone has to die from um, yeah. thirteen years after they get it. And that's why I was thinking the original that chick from the military chick was the original Ymir because she lived over the 13 years. She lived over 80 years. Because when she was in the branch talking to okay. Roberto and Raynor, Good point. she was like, oh, this was, you know, that happened to me in like 60, 80 years ago or something like that. Yeah, that's and don't they I look at her? Like, don't they like... like the yeah, and they're like, what? Yeah, that's why, that's why I think she's the original Ymir. And that's what she remember. She was saying that she's like, oh, I remember when I was, you know, the princess or the queen or whatever, and somebody like overthrew me or something like that. And then she had to run. Okay, you yeah, yeah you might be onto something here. Mm -hmm. So you that's why I think she was the original one. Okay, I don't know. I could be completely up my butt, but uh, I, 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 these are fun though. These are theories. These, these I, I, I brought it up to watch, my. I want to watch a uh, attack and attack on Titan lore like I did with uh, the Dark Soul Dark yep. Souls lore. Yep. On YouTube. Yep, 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 yep. Because that's oh, that's another thing. It was, it's good though. I enjoyed my time with the show. Um, aside from a few nit, aside from a few nitpicks, I enjoyed my time. I liked it. Mm -hmm. um, Levi's my boy. Um, I Le he's Levi? dope. Levi, yeah, sorry. Uh, Levi is my boy. He's dope mm -hmm. as hell. Um, I do yeah. think it's lame that the uh, armor titan got away at the very end. That was super lame. And like I was like, what the fuck? That dude's got away like four times now. It's, mm -hmm. but whatever. Um, I am excited to see what Arwen's Titan looks like, cause um, he's oh, he ate yeah. Colossal, but I don't know what his Titan looks like, so I'm excited mm. to see what he looks like. Um, what else? Did you did you enjoy uh, Historia's dad's Titan, the dragging the face? Who that was so well done with that thing, cause some other animes, other shows, it's like that would have been like seven episodes. Mm -hmm. That two episodes of fucking awesome, of mm -hmm. like it was like three episodes, but whatever, of like th like him just going straight to him, them doing like like Attack on Titan is the best when they're developing a strategy and trying mm -hmm. to w make it work, 
mm-hmm. that was like Attack on Titan at its coolest because it's gory, it's terrifying. It was unsettling when he comes up and he's just face is all ripped to shreds and gone, and he's literally he has no eyes. He's just yep. He's looking around and they're like, <laughs> like I love the people that just like. <laughs> it's just it, it's this hilarious is very different from a colossal titan uh, yeah 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 um i love how unique the titans are and the people mm-hmm. who make the show are definitely not afraid to be weird oh no these these things are strange Dude, like it's crazy it's sometimes you'll runners, see them they're and they'll be like yep i like that i like i like the ones that go like this <laughs> like, it's just they make them oh, like unique and just so unsettling like when you see a giant person and it's running you like, <laughs> like it's just yeah, terrifying run. yeah and especially when they can run like fast yeah it's and, crazy and it's cool that they have like different ones there's the, qu- the quadrupeds there's the mm-hmm. the the like really small with big heads and then, then there's like the, the 12 I'm... meters I'm not gonna lie. I am hoping that they do a prequel series to this uh, during the Titan War ti- time, mm-hmm. like or like where kind of like where it all started. Because it's like I want to know more about that stuff. Yeah, they definitely made it intriguing. They're on their final season, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. This so this next, season, yeah, this next season is is it? It's all it's over, and. The, good for them. They're leaving on a high note. They're not overstaying their welcome. It's four seasons, yeah. and it lasted seven, eight years. It takes, yes. Yeah. You can tell with their art. They take their time, and it is beautiful mm-hmm. and terrifying and unsettling, and attention mm-hmm. to detail is incredible. Um, really quick. Really quick. I love how they revealed the armor in Colossal Titan off screen but you still hear their conversation Mm -hmm. how like you like like describing that to someone sounds so lame and it doesn't like but if you watch the show and you're invested and you hear when Bertolt and um Rainer thank you you're better at the names than me Rainer pull Aaron to the side and go hey I'm I'm the armored he's the club but you hear it off screen and you you just hear like as if you're walking by a conversation you're getting bits and pieces you don't fully mm-hmm. hear everything what an incredible reveal mm-hmm. making it a big deal and not making it a big deal at the exact same and time then, like, I like kudos aaron, to the writers for that the balls like, it took to do that and it's like aaron couldn't believe it he was like uh, uh, i mean we could just you know come back here like yeah you know, he's like uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, shout out to them man that was so cool that was so cool you i mean what show has ever done that where they just I mean, make a massive reveal and it's not even it's the center of the, the show it's oh, just okay. offhanded hey um i'm the big bad and he's the big bad too and and that that's how they tell it i was like this is that was that's when the show really that's, got me that's when when i was on the mic with you the uh, that one night and all you hear is me saying oh what 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 the fuck <laughs> that's what going next. yeah i was like that's what i that was the scene oh that makes sense that's definitely a like dude like good for them man i didn't see any of the twists coming i did i oh, i same, I, same. I kind of figured mara was weird but i didn't think she was titan and a bear, I had no idea with bear told him and rainer literally zero i when when it happened i was like I was like, Whoa. yeah. When the female yes. Titan came, I I had a feeling that was the the chick, but like, well, yeah, yeah, Bert she looks Rainer, the exact no. same. I, yeah, Bertrand Rainer. I was not, the only yeah. time I ever expected it is like after they were talking about uh like oh people can be Titans. Yeah, I started piecing a kind of little bit because Rainer's hair was kind of like the armor Titan's hair in mm-hmm. a way. Okay, yeah, like, I see. Then that. I'm then because that's it was that was literally after they they uh we knew about the female Titan. I was like. Oh, so they kind of look like they're titans, and I was yeah. like, wait, I was like, wait a minute, mm-hmm. and I was like, what is happening? And then they started saying, we suspect that Rainer and Bertolt, and I'm like, that was cool. Oh, that was cool when they were like, like, uh, like, 
talking with each other and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, I love... The best time, like, like it's super anime, but, like, when they're giving you the reveal and they're like, this is the strategy, but you never see that mm-hmm. until, like, the strategy's happening. And then you get pieces of, like, well, the plan is to do this and this. Well, what if this? And then it cuts and then it, like, you know, it goes back to the action and it... Like, it's, yeah. it's so cool when you mitigate action oh, with, yeah. like, this strategy elements. Very, yeah, very yeah, cool. I enjoyed that. Very cool. Alex? Hmm? Yeah, do me a favor. I watched Attack on Titan, so you owe me. Okay. My hero. Okay. Okay. All right, that, that was easy. Wait, what, what, what's, what's it on? Hulu? <sighs> That's a great question. Uh, Hulu, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Let's see? Pretty sure it's on Hulu, but that's the next one I want you to try. I would be surprised if you don't get into it, honestly, but I th- I, th- I think it's up your alley. And definitely if we watch it together, I think it's easier. It definitely was for me when you were hyping me up. Because, mm-hmm. like, when you hype me up, I'm like, all right, I'll watch it. And then, and then, like, you know, you watch me upset, you're like, oh, fuck, it was good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, uh, okay, so Hulu adds My Hero Academia dubbed episodes. All right. Oh, okay, sure. Right, I'll, so um, I'll have to watch it. Yep, I'll be watching it on Hulu. Um, I want to get through the first four seasons. I think is dubbed. I think. Okay. I don't remember. Yeah, I'll definitely, I'll, I'll definitely give it a try because I watch a lot of anime. So. I think you'll like. It. Yeah. That is our show. Thanks for joining for spoiler talk. That was fun. Um, spoiler talks are light conversations that we don't think needs to be a full video. We just want to talk to you about it. Let us know if this should have been a full video or what you think about Attack on Titan Season 3. Comments below. Tweet at us if you just want to talk about some seasons of Attack on Titan or something. Or do you have an anime you'd like us to try? Let us know. Tweet, comment, subscribe, DM, Patreon service, anything like that. Yeah, I'm a big anime guy, so just let me know and I'll, and I'll give it a shot. Alex, big anime man is what he just said. Big. I anime. mean, you, I mean, I even watch one. I don't think you've ever heard of it. It's on Hulu though, cause I but I watched it before it was on there. It's called Infinite Stratus, and um, uh, it's one of those, how I guess what would you call them, uh, the the guy that's the center of the attention, and it's a bunch of women, pretty much. I think it's, uh, it's a weird word. I think it's harem. Harem is a group of like women. Okay, I think it's harem, but there's like there's a harem type animes. Oh, which I didn't I didn't uh, yeah like where there's like there's. Pretty much, of this show is a there's there's a, it's an all girl school, mm-hmm. and there's just one guy, so it's all uh, and yeah. But this one, they're they're in suits and they're like a, uh-huh. kind of like Gundam suits and they fight and stuff like that. Got it. Okay. Yeah. How long until cool. we get some tits? Uh, none. Oh, well, why are you I mean, watching it? I mean, then? I mean, I mean, it's not. Just happen. kidding, everyone. We love you, especially the ladies that watch the show. Hope that didn't offend anyone. I doubt it did, and if it did. Oh well. You be fucking yeah, okay, alright? <laughs> I'm gonna do one of those like eh. I hurt my hand. Thank you so much for joining us again. <laughs> Remember Easy Achievers everywhere. Like us, comment, subscribe, things like that. We love you. Remember, come back every Friday. Patreon for those things. Blah blah blah. We're gonna go play Star Wars the Old Republic. Yep, yep, yep. Goodbye. And remember Go Chief. Wow. Left me. It says, Go Chief. <laughs> <laughs>